All right, well, I am uh, still at that park. It's got like a pond around it here, or a little lake, I guess you call it. Anyways, I'm just kind of um, detecting along the edge of it. There's some uh, beaver trails and uh, some foot traffic trails and that kind of thing. So um, came over here and I got a decent signal. So let's see what this happens to be. If I can get this camera steady. Kind of on a hill here. All right. Anyways, I was getting a like a, a high 30s on the Equinox 800, like 32, something like that. September 15th, about 55 degrees in the upper peninsula of Michigan. So let's see what we get here. All right. Oh, just a nail. Yeah, sometimes they ring high. But, all right, well, take that out of here. Let me recheck my hole here. And probably some more nails in there. Oh, no. Uh, we got some something. Quarter, maybe. All right, cool. 54, no, 53. All right, so we got silver. Oh yeah, that shines up nice. Sweet. Silver Washington, 1953. Cool. All right, let's see if there's anything else in the hole. I think that's it. I'm gonna put the detector over it just in case, but so that's good to check the hole, I guess, because uh, I thought it was just a nail there, but I thought it was ringing up kind of high for just a nail, but you never know. Sometimes it does that. All right, back in the hole it goes. All right, I'm gonna do a live dig here because I just found that 1953 silver quarter. Um, like, right, right there, and I got another signal right here, so let's see, let's see what this is, maybe, it's ringing up exactly the same, like a 32, not very deep, all right, another quarter, but... Looks like it might be newer. Ah, it's a 60. Nineteen sixty. Yeah, that's silver as well. Yeah, because uh, what was it nineteen sixty four? Is Man, that one's in really good shape? Yeah, nineteen sixty. I think sixty four is when silver stopped. Awesome. Wow, that's cool. All right, I'm going to keep detecting this area. Maybe I'll get another. Maybe I'll get another one there. Okay, I'm just going to leave the camera running because I'm in a sweet spot here. I just found uh, those two silver quarters. And then uh, right over here where these spots are, I just found um, three wheat pennies from the 40s, all within the same the same area. I didn't I didn't film these digs, these three wheat pennies, but uh so let's see here. I got the quarters right right over in that area. The silver quarters. I got the wheat penny one there and one right there. And now I've got another signal somewhere in here. So I'm going to try and set the camera up just to show me detecting this area. Um, um, I'm next to this, I'm in the woods and I'm next to this lake over here. So I don't know, maybe this was like a, 
back in the 40s, 50s, 60s, an area where people wanted to enjoy the, the lake. All right, getting a signal right there. It's giving me uh, pretty high tones near the silver range. So let's see what I get. I'm getting uh, high 20s, sometimes in the 30s. Get any signal there. Let me go ahead and dig that up a little bit. Yeah. No signals yet. All right, let me take the detector and see. See what that does. can't find it. Get the old detector out again. See what happens. It's saying it's right there. Maybe I'm just not deep enough. Now let me check it again. All right, I think it moved, so should be able to locate it now. Yep. Okay, here's All right, here's the coin. Yep, yeah, might be another weedy. That was hard to find. Yeah, it's gonna be a weedy. Uh, so I can get a date on here. So that's the fourth weedy. 1945, maybe. These uh, these four weedies are kind of corroded. 1940 something, anyways. 42, maybe. And I uh, can just make out the one cent on the back. I don't know if you can see it or not. There's the one cent. All right, well, 1942. I'll check the hole, and uh, I'll probably just keep it, keep the camera rolling for just a couple more minutes. See what I can come up with. Yeah, I think that was. I'm getting a signal here, right there. I'll fill all these holes back in. I'm getting another right there. It's, uh, give me a 20. Give me a 20 on the Equinox. So let's see what this one is. Yeah, it's a. Uh, a lot of coins in this little area. Let's see what that does. Let's see if you can see that from here. Yeah, okay. All right, this one's right there. This 
this one might might not be a coin. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Yep. It's another. Looks like maybe another weedy. So this, if it is, which I think it is, be weedy number five. Oh, this one's a Canadian. A Canadian penny. Uh, yep, Canada. This one's gonna be, what's the date on this one? This is one of the older Canadian pennies. I think I've heard of them even called Canadian Wheaties. It's getting a muscle spasm in my, in my leg. Okay, so let's see if we can get a date off of this one. Uh, not sure where the date is on these. Well, the other ones are in the 40s. So I imagine this one's probably pretty close. It's getting cleaner. Oh, here we go. 1941. I don't know. Maybe you guys seen it earlier before I did, but by the camera view. But I, I can make it out there. It's 1941. Canada. Canada Canadian. One cent. Uh, what do you call it? King George. King George something or other. Okay. So, I can't remember how many that is. So I think five altogether. Four American wheats and one Canadian wheat, I guess. Let's check the hole. Yeah, there's a lot of coins in this area here. So, um, I was just about to give up for the day, too. Because uh, I found that silver ring on the other side of the lake. And then uh, I was kind of just... I just kind of came this way to check on uh, this beaver activity that had a lot of trees down. It's kind of interesting. So I was checking that out and following these little trails. Let's see what else I come up with. I'm going to leave my uh, shovel down for a second. I'll put, I'll put the shovel over here. I need one of those GoPros where you and hook it onto something. All right, let's see what I come up with here. These mushrooms. I don't know what kind of mushrooms these things are. But... 22. Yeah, let's see what this is real quick. All right, it's gonna be a big item. Probably a can or something. Yeah. All right. It's just a chunk of a can. All right, let me throw that away. I'm getting a solid 19 there. Now let's see what that is. Maybe it's a gold ring. All right, let's check this out real quick. Probably just a pull tab or something, but you never know. Gotta be careful with glass too. I usually wear a glove, but I uh, uh, just didn't feel like putting it on today, so. But that'd be the day that something happens usually. All right, it's out of the hole now. A nail. Or, uh, yep, a nail. Okay. Check the hole again. Last time I had a nail, I had a quarter in there, too. All right, there's something else here. Yep. All right, what's that? A glob of... Oh, it's a... <laughs> it's a... slug or a rifle round that that uh, hit something. You can see the flat end and this end smashed into something. So a nail and uh, I guess a rifle round maybe? I don't know. Hit something. Tree or deer or something. Anything else in there? Nope. Okay. That's it. 
Throw those in my bag. 